This is how some people in Lagos are having a smashing time. For Olaria Bikbea Kim, beating up old screens and bottles help him contain his stress about the worst cost of living crisis in his country. While I was smashing, a lot was running through my mind, like the current uh, status of living in Nigeria. Ah, uh, it's gone high. You have to battle with a lot of things, cost of feeding, you know, transportation and all that. Then my take home cannot actually take me home, you know? So there's a lot to be venting for. Others come to vent the anger for daily stressors, including traffic jams, notorious for trapping drivers for hours in the heat. The shadow weight room, said to be the first of its kind in Nigeria, offers a safe space for people to let out pent up emotions. For 7,500 naira, about five US dollars, customers are left alone with protective gear and a sledgehammer in a room for a 30 minute session. The items are later recycled. The owner says the idea came during the COVID 19 pandemic in 2020 after he lost his mother and struggled with work. The entrepreneur is also a physician and stresses the weight room is not a replacement for therapy. A weight room is not a therapy session. However, your therapy session can begin or end with a rage room. What we do here is to help people discover that sometimes therapy is needed. And this happens a lot of time after their session. Mental health services are still unaffordable for many in Nigeria. By typing into the Palmer Rage, Shadow Rage users may have found an alternative outlet 